The show continues right here on KUAM. I'm still Jason Salas, and thank you for watching. This is Fiesta Friday, and we have an information-packed show for you tonight. And we start out with news of a stage play. It's an original piece that's being put on by the talented kids at St. John's School in Upper Tumon. My buddy Rocco Flores is here, and we are going to talk about this. Rocco, half a day. Uh, half a day. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's next Thursday. is our first night. Uh, we have a special discount for students. It's $7. And then Friday and Saturday is going to be $10. Uh, it'll start at 7.30. Uh, I'm going to go until about 10 o'clock. That's uh, a long one. Yeah. No, 7.30 That's or 9. That's a lot nine. of fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's a comedy. It's a comedy. Now, the premise, it's about the dating game, that, yeah. old, that old show that probably predates both you and I put together. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just because, it's just you know, Valentine's was last week. Mm -hmm. So we're just kind of, you know... Having fun with the whole love season. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the that's the theme. Now, without giving too much away from the plot, and you can go ahead and like hold hold that up so you can get a shot of that. It's a nice poster. Thank um, you. So basically, with um, what is the main story and what's the plot behind it? It's, it's different little stories. Uh, we have a little we have a little kitchen, not kitchen. We have a the stage. It's at the parish hall at St. John's, not at the gym. It's at the parish hall, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll see that we'll have the chairs. The audience will be sitting around the stage. So it'll be kind of, they call it theater in the round. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so uh, it's pretty interactive. Uh, it's like it's one story. It's different. It's different little stories throughout the night. Um, and it all kind of comes together at the end. But it's, it's just a bunch of little, like we were saying before, little jokes on love and dates mm -hmm. and bad dates. Just a spoof on dating, basically. Oh, very cool. So it's, it's very... Uh, very fast moving, very up tempo. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not like it's not going to be anything like um. It's not going to be any depressing breakup stories. It's going to mm -hmm. be going on. It's just it's just it's just a fun nice. template. Yeah. Now I would say you know you you've been involved in theater for a very long time and yeah. you know the traditional way of course is you projecting your voice out to an audience so there's that kind of you know it's in two dimensions and everything with yeah. it being in the round you get a lot of feedback from 360 degrees but does it make it difficult for you as an actor to try and you know entertain everybody at the same time no nah, it's just just different uh you know this is this is not the first time we had a play like this uh a couple of years ago we did the outsiders mm -hmm. and that was the same we did the same kind of thing it was in the parish hall um and then we also did, a, we wrote our, another play, The Last Dance, two years ago. And that was the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of more fun. You know, the, the style of acting is just a little bit more, um, it's just, it's, 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 not as, it's not as traditional. Mm -hmm. So it's not as stressful, I would like to say. It's more relaxing. So do you prefer that, that medium better than actually being, you know, you over there and we the audience out there? Not necessarily. It's just mm -hmm. different, you know. Different challenges. Yeah, mm -hmm. just different styles of acting. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, um, talk about some of the cast and everything. Is this all students from St. John's or is it like a... It's all students from St. John's, yeah. Okay, cool. um, Lower and upper school? Or? No, just high school. Okay. Um, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors. Uh, about, about 50 kids, I think, are in it. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what part do you play? I I'm a waiter. Okay, very cool. Ah, yeah. Well, within yeah. the context of a romantic comedy, that can go... Yeah. One of, I'm, <laughs> one of two ways. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a restaurant. Someone's got to run the house. Okay. So, yeah. But like you said, you know, it's, it's probably like, it's fun and you, you probably, yeah. you don't have your heart broken at the end, I wouldn't assume. Well, uh, you never know. You never know. Ah, spoke, spoken like a true salesperson. Uh, thank you, thank <laughs> yeah, you. Making sure people go out there. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's talk about the set and everything because uh, your mom, Karen, you know, yeah. uh, is the creative savant behind everything like that. And you guys yeah. always are known for your big elaborate very detailed sets and everything that make the theatrical experience like mm -hmm. uh really cool um what are some of the visuals that people will see with this one uh i think actually it's more um this time um it's more simple mm -hmm. minimalist it, yeah i think it's gonna be more because our big show is not till april this is more of just our little you know smaller show mm -hmm. and um w this is i think more acting uh focused necessarily than because usually when we do have our, our bigger sets, it'll be on the gym, but when we do do the theater and the round of the parish hall, we like to just kind of focus on the acting mm -hmm. and uh, minimize the set as much, almost as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, so not so much set, the costumes will have uh, you know, guys dressed as girls, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it'll be, more, it'll be more focused on the individual actor than more so than the, the set. Now that I think about it, you know, I, I once saw a, it was a one person interpretation of Death of a Salesman, mm -hmm. and basically it was just the one guy dressed up and everything, no real yeah. props or set and everything like that, and it was incredibly powerful. Yeah. The, the impact was immediate yeah. and long-lasting. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. But so, yeah, it's weird. So, so how can people get tickets? Um, so you can call 488-6899 or 482-4762. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. um, if you're outside of St. John's, um, a lot of St. John's students are selling. If you notice, St. John's students, they're all selling. But you, you can get tickets at school. And I think we're probably selling tickets uh, the night of the show, too, if you, you just come on by. And everybody knows a St. John's student because you guys are all over the place. You guys are doing good things on the island. I like to think so. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot, man. All right. Thank you. Yeah, good, good to see you, and congratulations. Yeah. Good luck. All right. Thank you. All right. Please stay tuned, everybody.